Welcome back to part three. You join us during the final part of the sequence, having just come off a wing over at uh, crowd left. And position the aircraft for a running landing. The co-pilot's just completed the pre-landing checks. And what you'll see is the large orange marker at crowd centre is where I'm aiming to touch the rear wheels down. It's just coming into the left hand side of your picture now. Aiming to run the aircraft on at no more than 60 knots and no more than 20 degrees nose up and this will prevent the aft rotor from striking the ground. As the aircraft touches on, I'm using the power lever effectively as a handbrake and the rotors to produce reverse thrust in a very similar fashion to an airliner slowing down on a runway. The aircraft nose gets held up above the ground. You'll see the nose dip very slightly and then the aircraft begins to slowly taxi backwards along the runway. As the aircraft starts to slowly taxi backwards, I monitor the direction of travel and the distance to go to crowd centre. This is where the aircraft will lift and come to the hover to face the crowd for the final time. At approximately 30 metres to run, I call ready, lift, now, and the pilot positions the aircraft to face the crowd. The last manoeuvre in the display is an operational departure. We call it the over-the-shoulder departure. This is the last opportunity the crew get to see you all at an air show and take in the sights. It's an absolutely fantastic view and we cannot get enough of it. It's at this point the aircraft takes off in a reverse direction and departs on the B axis. We hope you have enjoyed the three-part virtual display and we look forward to seeing you at future shows. Please keep following us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram.